Did you send those flowers to yourself? Yeah. I was afraid you were going to fold on me. Fold what? Curvers is smart. He's respectable. The cops never find anything. Things happen, they follow up, they crap out, they let it slide. I've been through it all before. So I sent the flowers to myself to keep the case hot or whatever it is you call it. How many times have you done this? Just once, I swear. I wanted you to stay with me. Help me. I didn't want to go through this all by myself. Don't worry, Louise. I won't fold on you. Well, I thought I'd find Louise here, but uh, you, detective, <laughs> that explains a lot. What are you doing here? I, I came to talk. I wanted to make it someplace public, so... Go away! This is good. You've got a cop here. You can't say that anything happened that... Leave me alone! Please, you're disturbing her. Well, what do you think she's doing to me? All of a sudden, my, 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 my life goes under a microscope. The wildest things get said about me. Now, when they come from a disturbed woman, that's one thing. But when they're coming from the police, it's another. Mr. Curvers, I have been following normal procedures. You called my office and asked people where I had been. You told my secretary that Louise had filed a restraining order against me. That's true. I'm out of here. Louise, wait. We have to talk. This isn't the time. I want to settle this Let thing. me buy! Mr. Ah! Curvers, there's a stalking law in this state. Any person who willfully, maliciously, or repeatedly follows or harasses another person... Louise, ...and who please, makes a credible listen. threat... No! No! Let go of her. Louise, for God's sake! Get out of here. I'll call you. Excuse me. Hey, Iron Tree. Let me finish a couple reports. We can hit the road. I bet them steel had a line up for us already. What the hell? Handheld sonar? Oh, Nautilus depth indicator? The, the Nalem Scalem fish finder. My fishing guides. What about all that ancestral wisdom, the, the great hair, the, the juicy fruits? Wonderful philosophy. Very spiritual. But that doesn't put fish on the line. Somebody's getting a full tilt boogie in there. Yeah, your partner. I take it Mr. Curvis filed a complaint? You bet your diodes he has. Assault, police brutality, denial of civil rights, and anything else his lawyers cook up. Mind if I join you? You don't want a piece of me today. What I do? You're her partner. You might have told her not to punch out civilians in a room full of witnesses. It was only one punch. And only three witnesses. Philip Curvers? I acted on an emotional impulse. A human quality. Acquiring and augmenting such qualities is the prime goal of my assignment in this precinct. She's got you there. The hell she has. She broke three department regs and an undetermined number of criminal laws. You are on ice. I want you back at your apartment until further notice. Is that clear? Yes, Captain. Come on. You can't treat her like a little kid and send her to her room. I can treat her like what she is, a cop who is also a seven-year-old child. Oh, so we, we ask her to be more human, and as soon as she does, you want to pull the plug. Bobby, if I don't pull her in after an incident like this, the whole program could be in jeopardy. She could be out of here for good. Is that what you want? So how do you want me to handle it? I want you to take her home and then come back here and put a sign on your desk. What kind of sign? Gone fishing. Well, I'm a lousy lawyer. What? I lost the appeal. 
Twelve weeks, four days, nine hours, and 32 minutes into my new job. I'm officially suspended. Hey, I got suspended nine weeks into the gig, if that makes you feel any better. Didn't think it would. I'm not concerned for myself. It's Louise I'm worried about. If something should happen to her now, I can't do a thing. Captain Claghorn said it's the perfect time. She called last night to explain to me that I needed time alone to consider my actions. I asked her if I could take you fishing, but she nixed it. She believes that you need time alone as well. Well, I, I just wanted to see if, if you were OK. I'm OK. What about Louise? As far as I know. Thanks for your concern. <clears throat> yeah, uh, well, this is, uh, this is a phone number in Iron Tree's car. I'll be at the precinct for about an hour before I leave, if anything should come up. What would come up? Enjoy your vacation, partner. Let's hit the road, cowboy. We don't get up there by tonight. We're out of luck. Tonight? There's no fishing at night. Maybe yes, maybe no. No fishing, no action. Not so. What do you mean? Roseanne Lafarge. She and I had a meaningful relationship in our youth. Then we drifted. She ended up marrying Jimmy Bourne with the tooth. But now she's left him. She runs a bait shop near the river. Won't date anyone who doesn't fish. Never actually been fishing, have you, Iron Tree? Fishing in the larger, mythical sense. Don't worry, she has a sister. Got that sign finished, Bobby? So what's the sister like? Great personality. Louise, you're playing right into his plan. You're running away. That's a logical move, wouldn't you say? Let me talk to the captain just one more time. Maybe we can come up with something. I'm sorry, Eve. I've already come up with something. Oh, Eve. Give me a police escort to the state line. That's all I'm asking. I'm on suspension, Louise. Technically, I have no right to protect you. That means no? That means I'll do my best. Are a friend. <laughs> Let me tell you something. This is going to be the most productive 14 hours you have ever spent. How's that? I'm going to teach you how to sing. <laughs> <laughs> 